Well, hello everybody. This is Pookie. And today what I want to do is kind of follow up on the blur tutorial. There's been a lot of confusion about how you set it up uh, because of the way I did the video. Since you're seeing the same video track, when you shrink the blur area, it's very difficult to tell what's actually going on. So I'm going to do this a little bit different today. Uh, we're going to use the same video clip. Okay. Here's Crazy Cat Pete on the Matt Hawes show. Now I'm going to put this, however, in the second video track. I'll remove that audio track. I'm going to add another video track. And instead of duplicating this track to make this one a little bit simpler for you to understand, I'm going to take and put in a solid color. Okay, let's see here. Let's try black. Okay. Okay. Now, if I play the video, since I had the black up at the top, you can no longer see the bottom video track. Now, it's harder to work with a solid color like this, but you can still do it. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the top. We're going to choose our event effects. We're going to choose cookie cutter. We'll just add that in. Now, same as before, we're going to want to put a border on it so that we can see where we're working. I'll go ahead and uh, use yellow again. I'm going to shrink this down. Now, as you can see, now I have a solid black area. In fact, let's change this color here. Let's change this color to make it bold. We're going to make it red. Now I have a solid red area. We're going to find our start spot here. So I'm going to mute this for just a second. There we go. I'm going to find where we see Crazy Cat Pete. Use our arrow key to adjust to find the start and the stop of it. Okay. Now remember, you want to probably start like the clip before you first see them if you truly want to block them out completely. Then I'm just holding down the right arrow key to find the end of that clip. Okay, now I found the end. I'm just going to arrow back a little bit. Let's go right here. Now we've got that divided. Well, we won't need this first section at all. Okay. And we won't need this section here because that would block out the rest of the video. So now all we have to do is work with this right in here. Okay. So we're going to change, go back to the shape. We're going to change the size. Make it a little bit bigger. We're going to move it right over Crazy Cat Pete's head. Okay. Now, basically, that's blocked out, but that doesn't look real good. Now you've got this big old dot. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and blur that. Um, you can do this in two ways. When you're using a solid color, there's there's actually two ways to do this that work pretty good. The first is right up here at the top. You have an opacity. You can actually lower that. Okay. Like that. Now that blurs it a little bit, but as you can see, because you're basically making this transparent is what you're doing. You can still see the face. Now if you choose to use a different color that might work better for you. Okay, Or uh, you can actually use blur as well. Since we already have our event effects here, 
we just add another one. We're going to add blur. Okay, well, there you go. Now the color uh, that's that's going to be your determining factor there uh, on how well it looks when you do this so you might want to play around a little bit with the color maybe go back to the black for example since crazy cat Pete is black that makes sense right okay now that should give you a little bit better of an idea and you follow the same steps as the previous tutorial as far as zooming in and zooming out on that now if you were using a duplicate of the video clip okay we're gonna go ahead and remove this and we're gonna duplicate the video clip now what I didn't do last time and I think this would have helped a little bit more when we duplicated that section, okay, last time I didn't blur it first. So let's blur it first. Now the whole screen is blurred. But see, if I mute this top track, the bottom screen is nice and clear. Here, we'll scoot that up a little bit. There we go. See the difference? now if I apply the cookie cutter to it since I've already got the full screen blurred I think this will make a little bit of difference for you Here, let's, let's blur it even more let's make it more diffused harder to tell there you go now you can't you can't even hardly see crazy cat Pete so we're gonna add on here go back to our cookie cutter add it a second time there we go same thing we'll add a border just to make it easier to see and we're going to shrink that down and then we just move this over the area that we want now once you have that where you want it and you have it going then you don't need the border anymore okay but you may want to use what's called feather okay to make it a little bit softer and feather will kind of shrink it down a bit so you might have to increase the size again but now as you can see again he's blurred out Okay, you can't tell who he is there. So if I play it, okay, does that give you a little bit better idea? I hope, and um, I hope this follow-up makes it easier to understand how to do the blur. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave a comment. Uh, I'm here to try to help you with this if I can. Um, I will tell you I am no expert with Vegas. Um, I've just come across a bunch of different aspects of it that I really enjoy and that's why I'm making these tutorials to help other people uh, learn to use the program. And certainly uh, these same kind of effects can be done in other programs. So if you're not using Vegas, don't let that bother you. Uh, find another program and see if you have some of these same options like cookie cutter or blur and see how they might be used in your application. Thanks for watching. This is Pookie. Bye-bye.